Fiance's parents are evil. Um, but I can't do anything about it. All right. Uh, so I'm getting married this month. Super excited to marry the love of my life. Congratulations. By the whole experience, but the whole experience is going to be awkward and weird because their parents don't like me. Uh, in fact, they hate me. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'll not give you the whole, what is she come from money and you're the, you're fucking Billy Joel. You marry an uptown girl, huh? You're singing in your garage. Uh, let's see. I'll not give you the whole convoluted story, but the upshot is that they're conservative, upper class, highly successful Latin American business types. While I'm an Australian middle class lefty arts graduate, I knew they came from money. Anyway, we've been together for almost a decade now. And even though I know they've said horrible things about me behind my back and tried to talk her into leaving me numerous times, they've always been pleasant to my face. (laughs) Oh, that's even worse. That said, there were a few years there where they didn't talk to either of us after we told them we wouldn't baptize the hypothetical children we still don't have. Uh, But we we don't mention that. Okay. So you guys are, are agnostic or something? I don't know. Basically, it's going to kill me to have to look at at their stupid fucking heads on my wedding day. Uh, We only invited them out of a sense of obligation, but now it's hitting home that I'm actually going to be part of this family now. What I need is a long-term plan of attack to survive the next few decades until they shuffle, shuffle off this mortal coil. I know living a happy life with their daughter should, should be all the revenge I need. But if you saw her father's face, you'd want to give him the old right there, Fred too. (laughs) Guess I need some kind of middle ground. Any advice? Uh, Fanta nuts? I don't even know what that means. Go fuck yourself. Come to Australia. I imagine that's some sort of red nut over there. I have no idea. Um, oh, Joe Bartnick just texted me. Said smiling like the butcher's dog. Um, good for him. All right. Uh, any advice? Uh, the most important thing that you said there is that you're realizing that you're marrying into this family. And uh, that is something that you never really fucking think about enough. I don't think enough people do until you, got, you have, just picture this person is going to hold your child someday and want to take the kid to a ball game, um, you know, or whatever. So there's, there, there is that. But uh, I don't know. The only way to do it, I w- there's one way to do it. You could just try to kill the guy with kindness Or you could just sit down and look at the guy and just say, look, man, who's kidding who? I know you don't like me. I know you're just being polite uh, out of, you know, respect for your daughter or whatever. But you don't you don't have to be nice to me anymore. You know, we can see each other on the holidays or whatever. Anytime you want to come over, what? uh, Don't say that. Don't say you don't want to come over. Ah, Jesus. That would drive me nuts if the guy was being phony nice to me. I would at some point you know, have to say to the guy, listen, you don't, you don't, maybe just say that, go out golfing with the guy and just say, listen, man, I don't want to be any more of a thorn in, in your side than I already am. Just know that you don't have to pretend to like me. Okay. Then he just fucking walks off the first tee. <laughs> um, I got to be honest with you, dude. I don't know what to tell these. These are tough ones, man. This is really fucking, how close do you live to them? That's another one. You know, if you guys live a state away and you only see them three, four times a year, you can tough out a couple of weekends. You know what I mean? However, if, um, you know, if they live right down the fucking street, you know, and then they don't approve of you and then you have a kid and then they're going to question how you're bringing it up and they're already getting involved. They're already, I can tell you this, they're already way too fucking involved. All right. This is the deal. You can say whatever the fuck you want about, whoever your kid's dating until they get married. Once they get fucking married, you got to back off, you know, unless it's obviously something horrible. The person's one person's abusing the other person, but like they got to back the fuck off. So maybe you got to have that conversation. Just be like, listen, I know you don't like me, but I love your daughter and she loves me and we got married. So you need to deal with that. Yeah. Fuck him. Yeah. You need to deal with it. We got married. All right. So I don't need you coming over here giving me the fucking stink face in my own house. All right? You already did it once. You do it again. I'm going to take your head. I'm going to stick it right in the fucking icebox. All right? I I fucking had enough of you. Yeah, fuck this guy. I I have no good advice for this for you, sir. I don't know what to tell you. I just hope it works out. 
But uh, don't take any shit from the guy. And when it comes to you and your wife, I would just make jokes about it. Um, you know, I'd be like, hey, you know, I'm going to go hang out with your dad today. She'd be like, really? No, he hates me. Remember? Ah, whatever, you know, just keep it light. Um, but don't joke about it too much because then she'll say, but it really bothers me that he doesn't like you. I want everybody to like each other. Sir, um, I think you're going to be okay, but I'm not, I'd be lying to you if, it's like seven, if I didn't tell you that 17% of me thinks that you're really fucking stepping into some shit here. But you know what? Everybody who gets married does, so good luck to you. Good luck to you, but don't take any shit from that guy. I think you can get to the mom. You can get to the, you can charm her, right? I bet you can charm her. And once women are more forgiving, right? Until they're not, and then they'll fucking kill you in your sleep. But generally speaking, they're fucking more forgiving. And I think if they, if she really sees the love between the two of you, she could back off. And then that's what you do. This is what you do. You divide and conquer. Fuck him. All right. I think I'm on to something. Fuck that guy. Make, make her mom love you. All right, that's it. And then she'll start nagging at him and he'll either go one of two ways. He'll either give in and eventually like you or two, he'll, it'll fucking eat him up and he'll die sooner. All right, Jesus. Had to go all the way to there, Bill? Yeah, evidently it did. All right.